Hi, I'm Carrie Montgomery, and I'd like to invite you to a book talk about one of my favorite books and one of my favorite authors. The title of the book is called Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Before I begin, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Gary Paulson. A lot of the ideas he writes about are things that come from his own life. He loves the great outdoors, he loves the world, and he loves adventure. And he loves to write about these ideas, especially for teens. That's his audience, and that's who drives him to write. His books have been honored and recognized. He's a three-time Newbery Honor winner, and the recipient of the Margaret A. Edward Award as well. Before I begin, I wanted to share with you four words I want you to be thinking about how these four words could be put together to make a story. Are you ready? Boy, tragedy, alone, and survival. Think about how those four words could be put together to make an awesome story. Well, Gary Paulson has done just that. Now, when you sit down to read a book, one of the first things you might do is look at the cover. Well, on this cover, I see a hatchet, kind of like this one, uh, a plane, a wolf, and a boy. Now this boy is our main character. His name is Brian Robinson, and he's 13 years old. Now his parents are divorced, and he's about to board a two-seater plane. His dad lives in Canada, and his mom lives in New York, where they are right now. Well, before they board the plane, he boards the plane. Uh, his mom gives him a hatchet, kind of like this one, but he doesn't think much of it at the time. All he's thinking about, or what he's just distracted by, is a secret that his mom has, but he knows about it. Well, he says goodbye to his mom. He gets on the plane, and this plane is a very tight plane. It's only seats two people. Think about if you're rubbing up against somebody, um, there's not a lot of room. So he boards the plane. They start flying. It's just him and the pilot. And after a few minutes, they make small talk. They talk back and forth. Uh, the pilot talks about the dials, um, what they mean. Um, he kind of teaches um, some things about the plane to Brian, and he even lets him steer the plane. Everything is going great for a few minutes. And then all of a sudden, something changes. The pilot starts acting very strange. And, he, and Brian really doesn't know what's going on, and he starts to become scared. I'd like to read you a little excerpt from the book to kind of let you know the type of writing style that Gary Paulson uses within Hatchet. The pilot was having a heart attack, and even as the knowledge came to Brian, he saw the pilot slam into the seat one more time. One more awful time, he slammed back into the seat and his right leg jerked, pulling the plane to the side in a sudden twist and his head fell forward and spit came. Spit came from the corners of his mouth and his legs contracted up, up into the seat and his eyes rolled back in his head until there was only white. Seconds passed, seconds that became all of his life and he began to know what he was seeing, began to understand what he saw and that was worse, so much worse that he wanted to make his mind freeze again. He was sitting in a bush plane roaring 7,000 feet above the northern wilderness with the pilot who had suffered a massive heart attack and who was either dead or in something close to a coma. He was alone in the roaring plane with no pilot. He was alone. alone. Now let's think. Let's think you were in Brian's shoes. You were 13 in a plane with just a pilot going to see one of your parents. Then all of a sudden, your pilot had a heart attack. How would you feel? What would you be thinking about? How would you deal with that situation? Well, that's exactly what Brian was going through. He was thinking about all of these things and how he was going to deal with that. And he felt alone and he felt scared. Now, what happened after that was this. He, the only thing he could do was he had to land the plane by himself. So he ended up landing the plane in an L-shaped lake in the Canadian wilderness by himself. Now let me tell you, he was pretty shocked and amazed himself that he actually survived that part. 
But once he was there, Gary Paulson throws in challenges within the book to keep you turning the pages of the story. You want to know exactly what happens with Brian and, see, and to see how he faces these challenges. Now through these challenges, there's ups and downs emotionally for Brian. One minute he's excited that he's done something for himself, and the next he's frustrated, scared, angry. And at one point in the book, he thinks about ending his life. Now, through this, through this time, Brian um, finds a friend, and this is how Gary Paulson kind of puts his humor into the story. Um, Brian finds a friend. Now this isn't just any type of friend. This friend is extremely high maintenance, and this friend is extremely hungry. Well, Brian knows that it's important to keep this friend around. So he does what he has to do, and he keeps this special, special friend. So I hope you think about who that friend is, and hopefully you'll read this book to find out who it is as well. Now, Gary Paulson, uh, would, this book would be a great book for anybody that's looking for adventure, um, a realistic fiction book that offers a relatable uh, protagonist throughout the story and real events that can really happen. Um, Gary Paulson does a wonderful job of keeping you in the story. He keeps the pages turning. So if you look at the cover and think, oh, that's just for boys, not necessarily. At first, I looked at the cover and thought, I'm not sure about that. But once I read the first chapter, I was hooked, and I think you'll be hooked too. Well, if you liked what I talked to you about with Hatchet, you might like some of these other books um, that I hopefully can suggest to you. All these books that I'm going to suggest all have the same, same theme as Hatchet, and that's survival. The first book I'd like to suggest is The Boy on the Wooden Box, How the Impossible Became Possible on Schindler's List. It's a memoir written by Leon Layson. This is about a 10-year-old boy and how he survives living in Nazi concentration camps. The next book is I Survived Hurricane Katrina 2005 by Lauren Tarshish. This is a book about an 11-year-old boy and his family who are forced to stay behind due to an ill family member and how they struggled to survive Hurricane Katrina. The third book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. This is a book about a 16-year-old girl who accidentally becomes a contender in the annual Hunger Games, which is a televised competition against boys and girls where they fight to the death, hoping to survive. The last book is All Stations Distressed by Don Brown. This is a nonfiction account of the sinking of the Titanic and how passengers rich and poor fought to stay alive on April 12, 1912. Well, I hope you've liked the suggestions about books that have themes of survival and that you'll go out on your own and read A Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Thanks again for tuning in.